All right, so we've talked about um, doing airtight models. Now let's talk about why and one of the reasons we do it. Um, here I have a box, and this is what you'll have to do in class today too. Here I have a box, I've named it box underscore low, and this will become apparent in a minute. And it's just a simple box, and the problem with turbos, or the problem with boxes in the 3D world is that they're infinitely sharp. No matter how close I get to this, it will always be perfect edge. And theoretically, there's nothing that perfect and that sharp in the world. So what we have to do, and, and one of the big things that's a problem with that is that we don't get a highlight or a surface detail. And that's everything in the world has that. Even knife edges have that. We just don't see them so we can get away with them being this sharp. But generally speaking, everything has a border that catches a highlight, catches, and if you look around the world, you look around your monitors, you're going to see even those hard-edged monitors are going to have those edges. So what we do with Turbo Smooth, or what we do with upresing it, is get some of those details back in. Also, we can add more detail, and that's what we're going to do today, but I want to show you a couple of things to do. So when I look at this box, it's obviously the low poly. It's simple. If I look at the wireframe, it, there's nothing to it. And if I want, what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to duplicate it. I push Control V because that's duplicate and make sure I set it to uh, copy. And in this case, I'm going to change it from low to high. Uh, I always do capital, but it shouldn't have to be. So we'll just say high. Two eyes. There we go. Okay, so now I have a box high and a box low. And just for my own sake, I'm going to make the box high purple. And then I'm going to hide um, unselected. So if I take a look at my thing in here, I will see my layers have two in them. And what I will do is I will say high res for the high res mesh. And then we'll grab this low one and do, oops, not twice. And we'll make it okay. Just because you want to keep it organized, and sometimes you'll keep them all in the same place, but for our purposes, that's what we're going to do. So I'll close that back up. All right, so we'll have this, and this, the other one's back there too. And we'll, that'll compare why we need it. But let's take a look at what we're going to do. We're going to use Turbo Smooth. I'm going to come over to my modifier, and I have Turbo Smooth up in here. And if you don't remember how to do that, you just come to Configure Modifier Buttons, and then you come down to Turbo Smooth, and you double click on wherever you want it to be. In this case, it's right there. I double click it, it would fill it. Okay, and then you need to also show buttons. Okay, so. I have this set up. Now I'm going to put on a Turbo Smooth. Actually, you know what? The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and collapse it to an edible poly just because I always feel more comfortable when things are at that level. Um, and actually, we'll need to be able to do some work to it after we Turbo Smooth it. So here we go Turbo Smooth. Bam. Where did my box go? What happened? Well, what happens with Turbo Smooth is it divides every edge. And let me do this down here. So what we have is four sides now. If I go back out, you'll see it's a box and it's divided each side by half. And then you'll see that it tries to make it smooth from one edge to the next and basing it off of three points. So right here, it should still be flat if you think about it, but these two points that are now new across the corner of the uh, box are now trying to divide the, sim the smoothest position between them two. And that makes it right there. And I can go up one more time, and you'll see it's even more divided because it's trying to divide between every edge, every three edges, basically. So that's great. That's great. But I wanted a box. What happened to my box? What do I do? I come down to my editable poly, and I can turn this back on if I want. And when I have my Turbo Smooth turned on above anything, just like every other sub object, and I'm working below it, if I turn on this, I'm going to get the wireframe. So there's the actual box shape. And um, that is how we would be able to work on. So when I click on an edge, it's actually going to click on that and be yellow, which is cool. What we used to do, or what we can do, is we can go Alt-R because it's all looped. And then we can come in here and say Connect. Now, what that'll do is make a division right down the middle. And you can see right when I do that, adding that second division, I mean, now it's dividing it here, 
here and here, and now the curve is a lot less because it doesn't have to go across the hole from here to the other new point. So um, what we can do though, even more so, is we can push this up higher. And that means those three points, the new one there and the new one, um, let's see, between these, is going to be a lot tighter. So you see now we've got this flat edge almost. So if I say plus, and I come over to this edge, and I say, I clicked on it, and you can't see it when you click on it this time when you're in the sub mode or when you're in the this mode, but there it is, it's on. If I come back in here and I push Alt R, I do another loop, and now it's over there. I'm going to move it to the other side, and all I'm going to do is move it over here. Now, this is the way we've done it for a long time, only because these are the tools we had to work with. And people have, in their genius have come up with faster ways of doing it, so I'm going to back out of this and just do it this way. Um, right up here is a thing called Swift Loop. Super awesome, super fun. You just come into this edge and you drag wherever you want and it can be in any mode and just click. And automatically it's dividing that edge for me. And then if I come up to here and I click and then I come over to here and I click and I come over to here and I click and then oh, I come to here you see this is a, di a diamond that's all weird because it doesn't have a full loop. And I click, and then I'll do this one here, and I click. And let me turn off my wireframe here. And I think that's it. Okay, so now I've got this box, and look at I can see these edges. It's not perfect yet, and we'll talk about why it's not perfect in a second. But we can now see that we have edges. So one of the things we do notice is it looks like it's fighting to get to here. So if I cut it right here, now I've got a smoother edge between them. If I cut it right here, I've got a smoother edge between them, uh, meaning that I'm not getting this weird bend all the way through it. Or even if I cut it closer here and here, and then here and here, and then here here. Now I've got what I would say is a pretty perfect little box, right? So that's what we use TurboSmooth for, and that's what you're going to use TurboSmooth for.